Hi, John here from Top Apple Studios and I'm here with Tea Cake and today I'm going to go through uh, another health update with her. Hopefully this will be the last one because we have been through quite a journey with her. So in his last update we were told that she got a, a meadow hair allergy and uh, she'd been on steroids for a while. She'd had other treatments for things like mites. She had the spot on treatment. We gave her a little bit of ivermectin right at the, at the early stages of it all. and. Um, and that's where we was. Now, she was healing up nicely with the steroids, but once the steroids had ended shortly after that video, she began scratching and itching again like crazy, and the wounds came back, and she also, around this area, she developed this very scaly skin, and all the fur was just literally, to do that, and you've got a, like a bunch of uh, a, a, a fur in your hand, and it wasn't looking good. So we was in a bit of a panic, now, uh, and we didn't know what to do. And being it was a Saturday, and we know that there's no exotic vets at our vet on Saturday, so we would have to wait well Monday to hopefully get an appointment. So we took uh, a chance, and we just messaged someone that we watch regularly on YouTube who deals with a lot of guinea pigs. Is uh, many of you will probably know who he is, uh, Scotty's Animals. And luckily, he messages back very quickly, and he immediately asked for pictures. Uh, when we just, when we told her what we thought was wrong with her and as soon as he saw those pictures he just said it was mites and he told us to treat her with um, ivermectin uh, we told him that she had been treated for mites and when we told him about the spot on he said that the spot on it works for other animals but it doesn't work very well for guinea pigs especially not the mites that TK had got because they need ivermectin and the spot on's only got a very small amount of ivermectin in. and he said if you can get some ivermectin and treat her once a day every three days for three doses that should kill the mites and any eggs that they leave behind um, and then he told us to treat the to treat the wounds with uh, a disinfectant spray and things and things like that just to make sure that she's uh, that they don't get any infections in there to make the wounds worse so what we use for the mite treatment is this is actually the ivermectin drops that we did and it's just place one of those drops on her ear and we did that once once every three days uh, for three doses and that did seem to clear up, but to help with the uh, with the wounds because they were bleeding, we did spray this on, and then we used a cotton swab to uh, just spread it round and make sure that the wounds are covered to make sure that there was no infection. And then something else he did tell us to get was children's Benadryl. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have any available in our shops, but I did look at the active ingredient, and I did find this as an alternative. It's the same ingredients and it's basically the allergy relief and that did really help with her itching. She did not like taking this at first, but after so many doses of it, she did become used to it and she did start taking it straight out of the syringe and that really did help with her itching. It was a bit skeptical at first because obviously with all the treatments that we've given her, we wasn't sure if this would actually work. But we gave it a few weeks, like Scotty said, and we did notice a big difference in her health. The itching and the, the scabs healed up very nicely. The itching almost stopped, and the fur is growing back nicely now. Uh, he does say it might take quite a while for her to get her the full coat back, but as you can see, she is a lot better in herself. Now, one of the things that did happen that really concerned us was she did become fairly boisterous, fairly aggressive and she did start humping the other guinea pigs an awful lot and at first I wondered what was going on. In doing uh, the research um, into steroids I found that animals that are on steroids it can cause them to either become aggressive or have like a hyper developed sex drive and this can last up to two months and tea cake was getting really bad like or just out of nowhere she'd start rumbling and then she'd be jumping on all the other guinea pigs and humping them and humping them and this this was completely out of character for her because she, while she does rumble occasionally um, this was like three or four times a day um, and like no, in normal circumstances she rarely does this but it was the humping it was almost violent humping that she was doing I was a little bit concerned about this but after reading it just says you've just got to uh, have a bit of patience and let it let it run its course and over the last week or so she has calmed down considerably she's not rumbling anymore uh, she's not she's definitely not humping anyone anymore 
and she just seems to now be coming back to a normal self and as I've said before she's healing very very nicely no no itching anymore uh, not noticing any new scabs appearing so I think we've got a really big thank you for Scottish Animals for getting us the cure for her uh, now the thing what really baffled us about this whole situation is we have had guinea pigs for about eight years while we don't have like loads of guinea pigs uh, we have seen quite a few health issues and we have had mites a few times when we've got new guinea pigs and like Mr Whippy was an extreme case with it as well but something that we always had when we had mites is that down the back it was always like a V shape that used to appear on them and it didn't happen on tea cake at all and that's why we just didn't know what it was we tried treating it for everything we took it to different vets to try to get um, to try to get an answer so it really really it really really threw us for a loop um, in what it was but uh, the mice that were there did the treatment that Scotty suggested did get rid of it completely so just to make people aware is that sometimes if you get if you're used to, if something appears in a different way it may still be like mice like it like said with us it didn't appear as a V but the other symptoms from what Scotty told us was exactly what he sees in mice commonly he says it doesn't always appear in the V so sometimes might be worth just treating them for that for the mice just to rule those out first. Right, this has been another health update on our herd, and uh, I've been John from Toffee Apple Studios. If you've liked, if you like this video or you found it informative, please like the video. And if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section, and I'll see you next time.